So, I have moved out of the other place. I left about 12 midday and I've come to my new hotel for the night, guys. And this place is an absolute Bobby Dazzler. This is, this is like 10 steps up from the one I stayed at last night. So this is it. When you get here, you think it's nothing, nothing special, right? You don't think it's much. You think, oh my God, I'm gonna be staying in an house or something. But this is the ladies' house. And this place is called G, G Rat or G Rat. I'll put a name up on the screen. There's the name, look. I don't know how it's pronounced really. We're gonna say G Rat House. And the lady's normally sitting on here in reception, look. And what she's done, this is our house. This is our house. So this is not nothing to do with the rooms. And looks like grandma, grandma lives here, I think. I'd say this is grandma or family sister or something. And down here, look, she has built four incredible rooms. She's got the cleaners in these two. And I've got the quiet one right down the end. So we're gonna walk down, not disturb these people. Got a real good one. There's Lucille there. She's loving life. And here's my room. She's giving me the end one. Look at this. You got your, you got your table and chairs outside. Shaded. I'm gonna sit out here. I might have a beer tonight. You know, might get a get a small Leo just to celebrate. And this this is probably one of the best places I've stayed for the money, guys. This is my digs for the night. It is so clean, man. Clean and tidy. How's about this then? No ants in this place. Last night I was covered in ants. And I got my desk and a nice chair. She's really like putting the effort with this place. She really has. And this is, oh, I'm gonna have such good sleep in here. Get your desk, get your TV, kettle. Get the fan, got the aircon on already. Nice big bed. <laughs> Bit hard, but it'll do lovely. It'll do lovely jubbly. Got the fridge. So this is the place that I wanted for two nights, but it was only available. I was too late on the booking. I would have loved it in here for two nights, but hey at least we got, got a review of two places. The last place wasn't bad by any means. Ready, look at this. Yes, we got a step up tonight, boys and girls. Even got the divider. Oh yes, I can have a decent shower now. Didn't have no hot water last night. None, had a freezing cold shower. Look at this. What a beauty deal, man. Yeah, love this place. This place has got so many good reviews online. Give you one more look. It's got great reviews, man. It really has. Yeah, we even got a back door. <laughs> Tally ho! Hopefully the neighbours ain't too noisy. But yes, mate. Lock that. This place is a real winner if you come in the payo. I wish I had this place for two nights, really. And this one is closer to town. I will leave the location as always in the description. This one, you can walk down to the lake from here. Hey, <laughs> sit out on my porch. Nice Leo, happy days, man. Yo, I needed to get out of that other one. The dogs were barking all night and there was no hot water, but 399 baht. I'm not moaning. And in a minute, I'm going to tell you the price of this place. It's not much more, mate. It's not much more. And if you come down here, you get free breakfast. Look, breakfast area in the morning. Before I head off, I'll be having me jam on toast, buddy. Yes, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna stock up. I'm gonna have four slices. Jam on toast. I can sit here. Might have a sneaky few bits later as well. 
you know how it goes. Right, we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna tell you how much it is. How much do you reckon? The other place was free, 400 baht. Like your proper own, separate. This is what I like as well. No, no noisy neighbors, look. No separate rooms. Divided by an alleyway. That's how I like it. Last night I could hear matey all night long. Here, you're in a separate bungalow. So for this room, guys, I am paying 550 baht. So last night's was 400, 550. Not sure what that is now in dollars and pounds, but put it up on the screen. It's not much, is it? 12, 12 pound or something, is it? Um, yeah, it's not a lot. It's unbelievable, really, isn't it? Wakey, wakey, eggs in bakey, touching down from Payao, Northern Thailand. And it is really early, guys. So I'm trying not to wake everybody up. I met a subscriber in town. Um, we went to a restaurant, had a few beers. And I think I got home about 10.30. So big up to Michael, subscriber. Had a good night out and yeah, I was feeling it a bit by the time I got home, you know, feeling a bit. I ain't had a beer for a while, so it was really nice to get out. And yeah, I'm just gonna get some, gonna get some toast here, guys. So yeah, lovely bit of brekkie. Not sure where you clean it up. Just gonna leave it there for now. Yep, so in about an hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna take off, gonna load up Lucille, and I'm gonna go to Mai Chai. And we're gonna see Michael, who I met last night, my subscriber, Michael. Michael's not gonna be on camera. He's gonna show me around the town, and then I'm gonna do a little vlog of it after. But I said I would stop off and see him and see where he lives. And then, yeah, we're heading to Chiang Rai. And I'm gonna spend a few days in Chiang Rai my old stomping ground and yeah i'm really looking forward to it it's about an hour and 20 minutes ride from here 100 kilometers 110 kilometers so it's going to be it's going to be not so not so long as chiang mai to payo so i'm looking forward to that ride hopefully it doesn't tip it down again guys yeah i'm gonna get going and i will see you on the road to chiang rai down from the old chestnut the old lover the old beauty the old bobby dazzler touching down from chang rai northern thailand my old stomping ground we're back after so many years i'm back in chang rai my favorite city the city that i always talk about so we're at the famous golden clock tower and this place 
holds a lot of memories for me. I remember New Year's Eve, I think it was 2015. All this was packed out and I was standing on this ledge here. This is where I was standing. I remember every minute of it. I remember all my time here because this is my favorite city. This is the clock tower, just how I remember it. So on the weekends, guys, I think it's 9 p.m. I forget now, this will light up. So we'll be up here to have a look at that one night, either tonight or tomorrow night. I'm sure it's Saturday and Sunday night. It might be Friday, I forget. So we'll come up here and we will do the um, night bazaar as well at the same time. So yeah, man, back in Chiang Rai, baby. Over there is my old coffee shop, right on the corner there, that black place. Let's just do my New Year's Eve. I was about here. I well walked up this street and it was just crazy. Countdown, they had a stage here and everything. So we're here for a few days at the minutes, guys. Hello, yes. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna take it from there. A few guys in the cafe there wanted to get on camera. And yeah, we're gonna walk around. We've got a lot to do the next three days. Even longer, if I want to stay longer, I will. So I remember this motorbike rental as well. So they've got some nice bikes here. I like that 150 click already lit. And down here, there was a place that I used to go to as well. But we're not walking right down. Just gonna show you a bit of Chiang Rai. Then I'm going down to the plaza. I'm gonna get some food at the plaza today. And I'm gonna show you where I used to live. We're gonna go there. And later on tonight, <laughs> we're gonna go to the old airport where I used to do exercise. Everybody does running in the night times. So we're gonna go down there, see if we can see some people. But yeah, man, it's great to be back in Chiang Rai. I've not been here for about seven years, I think. I, I come through here once when I had to go to my site for the, um, for the visa. So a lot of things here have definitely changed. Like this place, I can't remember this place. I can't remember the Predator there, look. It's amazing, right, the Predator. Got loads of new cafes and stuff here. And I'm gonna go and see if my favorite restaurant is still there, the Hungry Wolf for the amazing burgers. Hopefully it's still there. I've not looked online or nothing yet. So one day we're gonna do that, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. And of course, we're gonna go and see the famous White Temple, Blue Temple, and the Black House. So we're gonna do all that. We've got an action-packed few days. And this place here, do you know what this place used to be? I remember it, I went in there on a couple of dates. This used to be the Cat Cafe. There used to be cats everywhere. You'd go in, sit down, order a coffee, and play with the cats. All change look, change business, Fika, Fika, still a coffee shop, but totally different business. Right, so let's cross over here. Chiang Rai's a lot bigger than what I remember it actually. No, it even feels too big for me now. This is my favorite city. It even feels too big after coming from Payao. Payao was like absolutely perfect. So we've got another little place here, look. This place is new. Chicken, do some chicken. 60, yeah, pass it back, good price. Ah, I think, ah, nice, yeah. Your restaurant? Yes. Oh, it's your restaurant? Yeah. And good prices. I will come here, I will come here later, okay? And um, does the clock tower light up tonight or tomorrow night? Oh, tonight, every night. Oh, every, every night, night now? Seven o'clock, nine o'clock. Yes, seven and nine. nine, nine seven and nine. Okay, seven, thank you. Eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, forget. Okay, so so it does it every night now. Yes. Every ah, night. I thought yes. it was just weekends. Huh? I thought it was just Saturday, Sunday. Oh, yes. It every night. Every night. Okay, thank you. Right, so the the clock tower lights up every night. Seven, eight, nine. I didn't know that. Um, when I lived here, I never really went out of this centre, and I used to walk everywhere. So I'm gonna go down now and see my old digs, my old pad, and I'm gonna show you where I used to live. It was quite a walk to somewhere like the 
clock tower actually it was a mission every day and i was so like stingy i never used to get taxis or anything like that I, i'm not sure if they do grab here now but when i was here staying there was no there was no grab flying around really but i'm sure there is now i'm sure there's taxis you can get there's a few tuk-tuks that fly around here i think i'm going down to see my hotel let's do this my old hotel this here is Piman Inn Hotel. This is where I used to stay. And it hasn't changed one bit. It's exactly the same. So basically, I'm just reminiscing on this vlog, guys. This hotel is the oldest hotel going. The rooms was dated. The TV was like from 1990. And I've got a picture at home in front of this here. And we're going to take a walk in because they've got an amazing gym here. That's why I used to stay here. And yeah, just being here is, is weird, man. It's the first time I've been back to Piman. That's the reception in there. And in the mornings, you get a free breakfast in here. And it was absolutely awful see look 6 30 till 10 a.m they do like yeah the breakfast is known here for being real basic but it's a big hall i used to go in there every morning um it's like a buffet you get you get some different stuff you get some toast and that as well but it was very very basic and down here you got the fitness and the swimming pool that i used to come to a lot and you did need a card hopefully they're gonna let me have a look so you go up the stairs here Swadi cap I can have a look okay thank you thank you yes I remember <laughs> ah every morning I used to come up here is it gonna be the same it's a really good gym they got here. It's exactly the same. <laughs> it's exactly the same. This is it, Pinman Gym. Wow, they've added a few more things, but it's basically just how it was. So I used to do my workout here, guys, in the morning. And I even used to go on the running machine back then, overlooking the pool, but I'll show you the pool in a bit. See, they got a, got a nice pool out there as well. Oh man, these machines, I remember going on these all the time. So they've added just a few more things, but basically it's just the same as it was. And yeah, I used to do my triceps on this rope. <laughs> exactly the same rope, I think. And I remember they used to have um, football on. I used to watch football by doing a workout up here and yeah I remember this one as well yes so it is a really good gym at Piman guys if you're in Chiang Rai and you need a good gym you don't have to stay here you can pay you can pay a fee to um, do a do workout here I will I'll try and ask the lady yeah so nice to so nice to come back reminiscing man <laughs> it's exactly the same so I'll show you the pool as well it's, just a, it's a nice pool yeah they give you a towel as well how much the gym now to <laughs> Uh, 70 a day okay um, uh, I don't stay here I don't, I don't stay 70 baht a day yeah it's free if you stay here okay and 70 baht a day okay I can look at the pool okay thank you uh, so she's a bit a bit confused there so she said it's 70 baht, 70 baht a day. 
um, yeah I never used to come out here too much I always used to just go in the gym but it's a nice pool got a few people out here out here lounging you know and it always used to be they used to do like kids things here from the school they bring the school here and everybody does their school hello does their school um, swimming classes here but yeah I never used to come down here because the gym's up there and you can just look out over while you're doing while you're doing your fitness but it's good to be back man we're back in Pinian it's not a bad deal is it I'm not sure what the prices are now I'm gonna see if I can get a um, a monthly price in a bit yeah trip down memory lane right I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you my room I was right at the start so down here on on this side you got the more these are apartments down here this is new this wasn't here these down here are uh, bigger apartments but my room was right at the start so I didn't have far to walk I know this is probably boring for a lot of you see these are the rooms here Pima. it's a massive place look two, two floors I'm right at the beginning used to get hammered <laughs> and come up these steps absolutely hammered oh, I can look at our room there's my room the doors open to this is my room this is my room <laughs> one two oh two oh and look i'm gonna have a look quickly this is my old room guys the view is exactly the same in the bathroom i didn't realize it had a divide there it's not bad now it's not too bad is it it's dark in here I've just walked in here. <laughs> I've just walked in. That's my old room. 1202. I've stayed in there for ages, guys. And the furniture is still the same. They've got a new, a new TV. I used to come out here. This is where you put your fags there. <laughs> used to come out here. Yeah, I used to smoke back then. Smoke that's a train. Ah oh, man, yeah, that's my room. <sighs> Absolutely sweat on. Yep, all the same. <laughs> it's like time has stood still. They used to have an internet cafe here. Well, not an internet cafe. You could use, could use the PCs, but they're all gone. Times have moved on, right? Swaddy cap. How much monthly here now? Monthly, stay month. Okay. So they do do different sizes, guys. Yeah, but we have I just different um, types. Yeah. So if you take like one month. How much is one month in the small room? Small room is a standard room, six hundred yes. baht. If 600 baht a night. <laughs> the price of the standard room is 
Really? For, for one month, but yeah. we can discount for you 20%. So 14,400, yeah. okay. Yeah. In three months, we can yeah. discount 30% off. So monthly 14,000 yeah, and everything free, gym. Yeah, they are included. Okay, they still do breakfast here? Yeah. Free breakfast. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Cup con cup. Damn, it's expensive now. 14,400, something not right there. I was, yeah, I was paying loads less than that, man. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, there's something wrong there, guys. 14,000 for that old room. No way, man. No chance. You can get it cheaper than that. Um, I don't know where she got that figure from. You can get an house for that. So, I used to walk out here every day and here is the old airport which i used to walk down to central festival all the way down this guy's doing it now with an umbrella but i'm not gonna walk down there now i'm gonna wait till it's cooler and we're gonna come back here when it's gonna be packed in the evening with people walking and exercising and we're gonna walk we're gonna do the same we're gonna walk down though and see who we can see talk to some people.